Hey, thanks for joining me with uh, Delve Deeper number 19. Uh, we've come to the end of our study in 1 Peter. Peter's teachings are to be put into practice by every follower of Jesus. And let's take a look at some of those teachings from chapter one. We are to embrace our new identity in Christ. Dr. Neil Anderson uh, has made a resource available called Who I Am in Christ. Let that become your guide as you establish your identity as a follower of Jesus. Part of that new identity is knowing that you've been chosen by God, set apart for service. You have a mission. You are in a place and a time and a position to do what no one else can do. So get out there and start loving on people. And as you live your exemplary life, remember you shine. And God's light within draws others to the kingdom. So you are a God magnet. To, to be faith contagious, we are to pursue a devout and holy life. You separate yourself from the old ways of living and the ways of the world, and instead you focus on doing what is pleasing to God. We know that an exemplary life is a life of love, and that this love is demonstrated in our desire to obey God and meet the needs of others and to take care of ourselves and be a good steward of all that God has entrusted us with. And as we go about, we learned that as we go about doing good, um, we need to cultivate a hope that even in the midst of persecution, there are glories that await. There's a spirit of hatred in the world towards the rule of God. And when you're living a God-honoring life, expect that there will be rejection even while you're doing that good for others. Remember that regardless of what happens, your inheritance is secure in Christ. I think finally from chapter one, there's a clear message that we are to love our brothers and sisters. In this hostile world, being unified and supporting one another is essential for survival. God will give you the grace to put these teachings into the daily practice. Our part is the sincere one too.